Yeah, hi everyone. Welcome to the new video. In this video, we are going to discuss GitHub Copilot chat with Azure uh, with DevOps. How can we use Copilot in DevOps workflows? So, welcome everyone. My name is Mahindra Shinde from Synergetics. GitHub Copilot is AI-based code assistant that you can use in your development workflows. You might have used some kind of AI tools in your daily life. Like for example, uh, Microsoft Binge, uh, search engine uses Copilot or AI, generative AI to give you more uh, relevant details or re more relevant search results. GitHub Copilot chat is a tool that assists developers to generate code. It can generate unit test cases as well. And some of the developers I have seen, they use Copilot to generate a lot of different kind of uh, source code. Like it can generate Docker files. It can generate any, any particular programming language code. You just put a prompt and let Copilot generate a code from the prompt. So how we can use Copilot in DevOps workflows? So when I say DevOps workflows, I'm referring to a typical CI CD workflows, continuous integration, continuous delivery and continuous deployment. What happens is many a times people ask me question like for example, for so long I have been using Jenkins freestyle project to build my CI CD workflows. And now I have to use Jenkins file, which is a declarative workflow. I need to write a code for that, but I don't remember all those code snippets. And I spend a lot of time searching on web, like how to take this Java application to Tomcat or to Wildfly or how to containerize an application, build a container from a pipeline. How Copilot will help you in here? Just like you can generate a Java or .NET code snippet using the prompt, you can use GitHub Copilot to generate Jenkins file for you to generate Azure DevOps, Azure Pipeline YAML, to generate GitHub Action YAML, and so on. If you are using tools like Terraform or Ansible, GitHub Copilot can generate those templates or infrastructure configurations as well from a simple prompt. And therefore, it helps you to reduce the time you need to build your CI CD pipelines. If your pipeline generates any kind of error, from the error log, from the error log, you can create a different prompt and ask Copilot to explain the error to you. Okay. There are many different ways you can use Copilot with DevOps pipeline. For more information about tools like this and for information about courses designed around DevOps, Copilot, AI, etc., please follow us on our various social media channels. You can follow us on Twitter, you can follow us on LinkedIn, you can follow us on Insta and YouTube. So thank you very much for joining us on this session. Have a good day.